Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm doing an updated League One table prediction based on what we've seen so far in this current League One season. Before we get into this video guys, as ever, hit that like button. We'll go for 150 likes for this video. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new or haven't already done so and get your predictions down below. If you don't agree, that's absolutely fine. It's opinions based. I want to see your thoughts down below. Let me run you through how this video is going to work. We're using a tier list. I've got the top six, the playoff chasers, the teams from about 14th down to 20th, so mid-table and safe, and my bottom four. Let's start with Burton Albion. Burton, I'm sorry, this is easy. Bottom four. I've done my research coming into this video, and Burton have got one point from seven, obviously, just looking at the table. They've conceded 20 goals, and their XG doesn't look great as well. I don't know what's happened to Burton so far this season. There's obviously plenty of time for them to turn this around, but based on what we're seeing so far, I don't see how Burton are getting out of this. It's been a really bad start from them, and yeah, they're going in my bottom four. Next up, we've got Cheltenham. Cheltenham have been better than Burton, but I still might put them in my bottom four. They've lost all their home games. They've created an XG on average of 0.9, so that's just under one goal a game they're creating, like, chance-wise. Um... They've been okay. They picked up some decent points, but like I say, at home, they've not been very good yet. There was that defeat in the Cup to Exeter. Was it 7-0? I don't think they've had a great start. Plenty of time for them to turn it around, but based on what we've seen, I don't think Cheltenham are going to stay up. Bristol Rovers next. Bristol Rovers coming up from League 2, and obviously they did amazing to make third place last year. So far, they have climatised quite well in this division, and I quite like Bristol Rovers. I like Joey Barton. I think they've got a decent squad, and they're starting to find their feet in League 1. I think with the fans behind them and the momentum they could pick up through the season, I wouldn't be surprised to see them finish in the top half. It could be a tall order to see them actually go all the way and finish in the top six, but... I wouldn't rule them out of being in a playoff chase, so I might say they just get into the top half. So far, they've been okay. Not particularly consistent, but they panned Burton away 4-0. Aaron Collins is up to four goals already, and I'm backing them to climb as the season goes on. Bristol Rovers, I like you. I'm putting you in the playoff chasers. Next up, MK Dons. Really not a very good start from them. Obviously, they did so well last season to make the playoffs. And then coming into this season, a couple of players have departed. And yeah, it's just not been a very good start at all. I don't think they'll go down, but they're recovering from a slow start, which could hamper them in terms of if they actually realistically think they can make the playoffs again. I'm going to say they could finish around mid-table based on what we've seen so far. I feel like they're starting to turn a bit of a corner. They've got a couple of wins recently. But ultimately, they're still in and around that bottom eight. I think MK Dons will climb away, but maybe just mid-table this season. If you're an MK fan, what do you think down below? Your XG suggests you might finish around mid-table, so I'll go with that. Ipswich Town next. They're defo going in the top six. Ipswich fans will be hoping to stay in the top two and obviously stay top of the league. Um, I'm going to put them in the top six. They've been very good so far. Their XG, they're creating the most chances out of any team in the league. And that is obviously why they're top. They're not having many chances created against them. They're winning a lot of games. And... The thing with Ipswich is, we've seen over recent years, they get off to a good start. It's just about maintaining it. Obviously, their fans know that. And do you think they've got the squad depth to go and do it this season? Because I actually do. I think Ipswich will be in that top two. I'm going to say it. Ipswich are going up this year. Next up, Portsmouth. And I think Portsmouth also look the real deal this year. They've been so, so good. Honestly, their form at the moment is unbelievable. And they're beating high-caliber teams in this division. Portsmouth, I'm putting you in the top six, but pretty much in the top two as well. I actually wouldn't be surprised to see Portsmouth go for the title as well this season. Obviously, their fans will just be happy with any kind of promotion. But I think they look that good. The XG is okay. They're creating a few chances. Defensively, they look quite good as well. I think Portsmouth have put it together. And they look like a real force this season. It's just about keeping it going over a long time. And yeah, I'm going to say Portsmouth in my top two. Peterborough next. Peterborough. There's no grey areas with Peterborough. They win or they lose. They haven't drawn yet. And when they win, they win big. They've got lots of goals in that team. Obviously, they've got Johnson, Clark, Harris. But they've got plenty of players chipping in with the goals. They've got an incredible amount of goals scored already. And they're going in my top six. There's a couple things they could cut out. Obviously, there's a couple of defeats in there already where I just think they're not a million miles away from actually battling for the top two. I'll put them in the top six. I would say they're probably going to finish around third or fourth based on what I've seen so far. Still a long way to go, but the XG is good. They're putting the ball in the back of the net, and yeah, their, their squad is strong enough to make the top six. I think they could battle for the top two as well. I like Peterborough. Next up are Morecambe. Morecambe coming into this season were getting written off a bit and it's a bit harsh considering they stayed up last year and they got written off before that but so far this season they haven't actually won yet they've picked up four points from seven that's four draws 
Their XG is not good. They're getting a lot of chances created against them. And although it's early, I think Morecambe could be in trouble. I'd like to see them stay up. It'd be a nice story. But based on what we're seeing so far, I'm going to put Morecambe in the bottom four. Next up, you've got Port Vale. Port Vale obviously came up last year. I liked Port Vale in League 2. I thought they were really impressive. And so far, they they pretty much look like a League 1 team already. They've found their feet. They're not in the bottom four. I didn't think they'd go down this season, and I still don't. I think they're going to be maybe around mid-table. If they put some good results together, they could climb the table. They've had a couple of tough games so far. And looking at it, yeah, they've found their feet. They've been a solid mid-table side. Do they have the consistency and the quality to go for a top six finish? Maybe not this season, but the way I'd look at Port Vale so far is they've found their feet. They've picked up points already. They're getting in the wins and draws here and there. And I think this is a consolidation season. I think they'll stay up. They could even overachieve a little bit, maybe mid-table. Wouldn't rule them out of the top half. Maybe next year, though, they could make a better fist of it if they were to actually challenge for the playoffs. I'll say mid-table. I do like Port Vale. Good players, good fans. Next up, Sheffield Wednesday. Top six, isn't it? I know they lost at the weekend coming into this, but Sheffield Wednesday, for me, at the start of the season, were my favourites for the league. Um, I know they're not top, but they are in the playoff mix. And obviously, it's only seven games gone over the season. I think they could nudge up a couple more places. I'd still say they're in that discussion for the top two. Lots of quality, massive club, massive fan base, massive stadium. I just think the potential there is massive. And if they just put things together, I feel like their XG could do with a little bit of improving. Like, like I say, that result against Barnsley at the weekend was a bit of a disappointment. Just nip those things in the bud. And I think Sheffield Wednesday will be fine this season. Just not quite at their fluid best yet, but as the season goes on, I expect them to push towards the top two. They're definitely making the top six, in my opinion. Accrington Stanley next. Accrington Stanley. They're drawing a lot. They've drawn four out of six. They're creating a lot. They could finish higher based on where they are in the table at the moment. Their XG is actually very, very good. Their expected goals is saying that Accrington Stanley could even rival and battle for the top six. So I could put them in playoff chasers. So far, though, I might just lean towards a mid-table finish for Accrington. More than solid in League One. Definitely think they'll stay up again. And, um, yeah, the, the sky could be the limit for Accrington. I'll say keep an eye on them. Plymouth Argyle next. I like Plymouth. I've said so many times before how I'd like to see Plymouth get into the championship. Uh, it's great to see Plymouth and Exeter both in League One as well. It'll be interesting to see that game. Um, they've done very well so far, Plymouth Argyle. They've actually kind of surprised me. I, I put them down as a playoff chaser at the start of the season, and so far they're actually in that top six. They look more than solid. They're beating some good teams at the moment. I think there could be a little drop-off, maybe, because you've got some big clubs that are really trying to shove their way in there. I think the competition for the top six this year is maybe one of the strongest it's ever been. And I think Plymouth could have a similar season to last, where they're in the discussion. I might just put them as a playoff chaser for now, which could be quite harsh, considering they're actually in the top six now. If you're a Plymouth Argyle fan, let me know what you think. I do like the Pilgrims. I would like to see them go up. I'm just going to say they could finish around 7th or 8th for me. I'll put them there. Cambridge United next. Are they the biggest surprise package so far? You might have to say so because they are right up there and not many people thought they would be. I think they're going to be more than fine from the bottom four. Could they maintain a top six finish? Looking at their XG, it's looking as a mid-table side. So maybe they're slightly overachieving at the moment and that is no disrespect. It's obviously showing that they've got strikers that could be clinical. They're taking chances that come their way and obviously they're doing well to grind out some decent results so far. I still think we could have a little regression from Cambridge. I think they'll be more around mid-table, but I tell you what, I'm not against Cambridge making the top six. I would love to see them go up. Wouldn't that be great to see Cambridge in the championship? I'll put them just ahead of MK Dons there, maybe around 13th or something this season. Does seem harsh, but I do think Cambridge will be all right this season. We'll see how things go over the next few weeks. Charlton are next. I've watched Charlton a couple times this season. I watched them in the Cup against QPR, but in the league, they've been okay as well. Struggling for consistency. They've been they've kind of had like a mid-table start so far. I wouldn't rule them out of the playoffs because they've got the quality and they've put in a couple of good performances. They just need to be a bit more consistent. But based on what we're seeing so far, they look like a team that will probably be battling for the playoffs on the outside and it's just about staying within touching distance they've got decent players there their xg is okay they're looking like a mid-table team in terms of the chances they're creating i wouldn't rule them out of the playoffs so i'm going to put charlton in the playoff chasers once again i love the club charlton's a you know i grew up with charlton being a premier league club would like to see them in the championship i'll put them there bolton wanderers next Bolton, I think a lot of people thought could just sneak into the playoffs this year. I think they're on that borderline, aren't they? So far, they've been okay. I think they're just outside the playoffs at the time recording this. They've had a couple of games recently that's gone against them. I think they lost to Plymouth and Sheffield Wednesday. 
but ultimately they look to be in that discussion. They're only losing to teams in and around that battle. It's those games that will really define your season when you play teams also competing for the top six. Bolton are a good club. I'd like to see them go up as well. Um, probably playoff chasers. I'm trying to think wisely who I think will actually make that top six. And Bolton, for me, I think could be a team that maybe battle, maybe finish seventh or eighth. I wouldn't rule them out, of course, as well. But I'll put them there just ahead of Plymouth. Exeter City next. Now, this is... This is a wild one. Exeter City just coming up from League 2 and so far doing the best out of the newly promoted sides. And I didn't think I'd say this after just seven or eight games of League 1, but I'm actually going to say they're in the playoff chase. Do I actually think they'll make the top six? I wouldn't rule it out, but I'm not going to put them in there. But they've been very good so far. Can they maintain it? Um, Giovanni Brown's looking like a decent player. Three goals so far. So the main thing is they're scoring goals. They've climatised quite well. They do not look out of their depth whatsoever. And I think Exeter could be battling for the playoffs, which would be absolutely mad, considering they've literally just come up from League 2. Forest Green Rovers next. Ah, Forest Green Rovers, yeah, they've just come up from League 2 and they won the league. So far, it's been a slow-ish start, but they've not been the worst team in the league by any stretch of the imagination. Their XG4 is about 1.4, so they're creating enough chances and they're scoring a few goals. I wonder if... They might start improving through the season, just start hitting some back-to-back -back wins and some clean sheets and a bit more consistency, and they'll just steer clear of it because the last thing they want is to be in the mix all season. I think they'll be safe. I'll put them in this bracket here. I like Forest Green. It'd be a good story to see them survive as well. Lincoln City next. Got to say, Lincoln City have disappointed me so far. I didn't really have massive expectations for them coming into the season. Uh, but even then, they've fallen below what I thought they'd do, which was probably around mid-table. Um, they've got the worst XG created in the league, so they're creating the fewest chances out of all of the League One teams. Um, 0 0.7. So they're averaging, say, they should be scoring about two goals for over three games, which is just not very good at all. I do think Lincoln City can improve. They've got okay players there, but so far it's been a really bad start. And yeah, they're yet to win at home as well, so... I think Lincoln City could be in trouble. I'm going to put them in my bottom four. Might be a bit of a wild card there. Shrewsbury Town next. Solid team. Put them in safe. Um, do, I, do I think they're going to mix it in with the top six? No, but do I think they're going to go down? Definitely not. I think they're just a very solid team. And I quite like Shrewsbury. I've got a soft spot because they've got quite a few of the former Coventry City players there. I saw Jordan Shipley scored at the weekend and they're doing okay, Shrewsbury. They've only scored five in seven games though, so maybe just need to hit the back of the net a bit more and they could climb the table a bit, but I'll put them around safe. Derby County, I'm going to say still top six. I know they just lost at the weekend to Plymouth. Obviously, they're not going to be invincible this season. They are going to lose games, but do I think they'll make the top two? Currently, I don't. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but based on their start, um, they've been okay. They look like a top end of League One team, but ultimately, it's obviously really hard to climatise. I mean, the, chat, the the quality of League One is really improving. That it's not massively different to the bottom end of the Championship. It's quite hard to climatise sometimes for relegated teams. And I think Derby County will mix it in and improve as the season goes on. They've got a lot of quality. The fan base there is massive. I think they'll be in the top six. It'd be good to see Derby County in the playoffs. Wouldn't say it's impossible they make the top two, but based on what they've done so far, just not really hitting massively consistent form so far. But they've had some good signs so far, so I'll put them in the top six. Fleetwood Town are next. Um, yeah, they've been all right. They've drawn five in a row. I don't think they'll go down. Um, but do I think Fleetwood are going up? No. I, I think it's like a pretty safe bet just to put them in this category here. I think Fleetwood are a solid side, but um, yeah, if they could turn those draws into wins, it'd be good. They've played seven, scored seven, conceded seven. They just kind of look mid-table at this point, which is absolutely fine. Barnsley are next. Oh, this is tricky. I could see Barnsley getting in there. Really good win at Hillsborough last time out. I'm just going to be mean and put them in the playoff chasing mix. I wouldn't rule them out of the playoffs by any stretch of the imagination. I think there's going to be such tight margins. I might actually bump them up a little bit. Let's put them around here. I wouldn't be surprised if Barnsley finished 6th or 7th, right around that margin there. And um, yeah, they've been alright so far, just need to be a little bit more consistent, but they've put in some good results so far, and I think they, they're they always a solid side in League One, so wouldn't be surprised to see them up there. Wickham Wanderers next, um, been quite an exciting team to watch so far, believe it or not. I think they've scored 10 and conceded 10, and... Um, 
yeah, just solid foundations at Wickham Wanderers. So I'm going to say they'll be in the playoff chase. Uh, obviously, they did make the playoffs last year, so they'll be looking to try and repeat that trick again. But I think they could be in the mix. Do I think they'll make it? Once again, I wouldn't rule it out. I think they're a decent side. They just need to obviously be a little bit more consistent. But yeah, I'll put Wickham in the playoff chasers. And then last up, you've got Oxford United. And I'm going to squeeze them in my top six. I think Oxford United are a battling team. I do like Oxford. And I think it would be very impressive if they do make the top six. Because as I say, the quality for the playoff chase this year is mental. Like I could see a combination of 10, 11 different teams making the top six. And I'm going to say Oxford are the team for me that could just sneak into fifth or sixth. They've done it before, quality team, good fans, and I think they'll do it this year. Oxford United making the top six. So then, guys, that wraps up my predictions for League One after what we've seen so far. It was hard to do this. I did my research. Doesn't necessarily mean any of this is going to come true. But let me know your predictions down below. If you're a League One fan, get involved. Hit a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.